Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Cause Streams TV. As always, I am Cause for everyone new and anyone just coming back. Welcome. This week, we had a few things to talk about. It wasn't too busy of a week, but something I want to talk about is we've completed week seven and I've now moved on to doing some farms. And some of these farms are actually new. And I've never done this before. So we're going to talk about that later in the video. What else are we going to talk about? Recap our weekly Mythic Plus keys on our characters. We're going to look at some IO upgrades and any new mounts that we got, which I think we may have gotten one. Anyway, let's Let's jump right into it. First of all, let's start off by one of the things I did this week, and this is just kind of a random thing. I took some time with it being Hollow's End, and I started doing the Hollow's End Headless Horseman runs. So every time you complete a dungeon, you actually get one of the transmog pieces for the patched harvest column. And every time you do a dungeon on an alt, you get one of the jack lanterns, and in that is a piece of the transmog. Now, something I didn't know is I kept destroying all of the candy and extra items that you got. Well, the back piece to finish the set is actually only purchasable using 100 of the tricky treats that you get from farming candy buckets. Now, I've destroyed a ton of those, and I also did the achievement for, for visiting every candy bucket in Kazalgar. So, because I scrapped them all and I needed 100 to get the back, piece i decided i was going to fly around and do the dragon flight achievement i did the dragon flight achievement we ended with about 91 i believe then we did the headless horseman for and we got exactly what we needed to get the transmog so we did end up getting the patched harvest transmog for hollow's end so i'm really excited with that i'm happy that i got that it's basically the same as the one you got for the trading post but instead of the darker colors it's a little lighter with red eyes so i'm excited for that that is one of the random things we did this week and let's just change gears there is really no reason to even look at the dk's eye level this week it because it hasn't moved we are 630 item level and we've been 630 item level for a while now we've gotten some pieces where i can play around with like more versatility more mastery more crit so i do have pieces that i can play with but right now we need guild address to do more of my upgrades and basically get mythic track gear to be able to upgrade so the dk is just sitting at 630 item level so nothing too big and exciting to talk about but let's jump into his mythic plus io this week and i'm excited to say remember we talked about getting 2700 when we went into week seven well that is exactly what we did we did manage to get 2700 we were at 2690 to start week seven and we finished the week off at 2709 some the keys that we completed and we did an 11 miss which we two chested for four points bringing us to 2694 and then we also did a 11 era Kara that we two chested that gave me 15 points bringing us up to 2709 the 11 era Kara will be posted on the youtube channel friday afternoon so you guys can take a look at that and then with that we also did jump into trying some 12 keys on the death knight we had a 12 era Kara to start the week off and we were actually we were eight seconds over time on that key unfortunately the last boss farmed the group I was with it had we had seven deaths to the last boss boss alone and I think overall there was 12 deaths in the entire dungeon so even with that we we're only eight seconds over so Eric Care is definitely one of those 12 keys I do believe I can get into in time we tried a city of threads which never made it to the first boss we also tried a dawn breaker which made it past the first boss and then there's just some trouble with the trash most 12s are usually disbands so that is kind of something I'm getting used to all the other ones I did I jump in they wouldn't get to the first boss someone would leave instantly and it's not it wasn't anything that i was doing wrong i was surviving i wasn't doing any big crazy pulls out of the ordinary but usually people were kicking people were standing in bed and 12s are so unforgiving that everyone gets one shot basically instantly. so that's how that week went on the death knight and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna jump directly into his vault we're gonna open his vault in frostbeck like we always do we'll have the two mythic raid slots three mythic plus 12s and let's take a look at what we have not looking like a bad week at all for our first mythic track we have a chess piece which would be a significant upgrade over what we have now we have the haste mastery neck which off spec great primary not that great and unfortunately i wish this was in the mythic track not the hero track but we did get the sikram's endless arsenal moving on to our mythic dungeon slots we have a two-handed axe we have another chess piece which i mean great stats if we don't want to catalyze it and play around like i said i got items where i can play with my stats and move things around but then we also have a sack brood a mythic track sack brood that is pretty good so i think right now it's between the chest and the sack brood so even though the chest would be fantastic to take as an upgrade because it is mythic track we're going to take the sack brood because this is also mythic track we should be able to upgrade it right up to 639 so i'm excited for that so this is what we're going to take and that is one less trinket we have to worry about throughout the week and now we can start running it in mythic and mythic plus and mythic rate 
All right, and next up, we're just going to jump directly into the warrior. All I did on the warrior last week was just a single 10. I had that 10 Dawnbreaker, so that's what we ran. And it was not as graceful as the week before. So he will only have one Vault Slot to look at. Um, maybe I'll put a little more time in him. I was doing a lot of keys on the DK. So let's see what he gets. He gets a two-handed sword because I opened it in Fury spec. But hey, if I want to play Fury, I now have a weapon for it. So I might as well take that. Maybe I will learn some Fury eventually. And a character I actually put a little bit of time in was my Shammy. So my Shammy is very low. He's only about 590. Uh, but I wanted to try out just a different perspective, a different role in the game. So I did play my healer, my restoration Shammy as a healer. Now he's only sticking to low keys, twos and threes. I don't want to get any higher because like I said, he's only 590. But the crazy thing is, is, is as I was playing the healer, the affix last week was devour, which means that everyone gets a healing absorb on them, which is dispellable by many classes or you can heal it off of them now. The lower keys I was doing, it's crazy how little people know that they can dispel this off on themselves and very commonly what happened is that even though the mage would have the the affix on them plus they could dispel i'd be pumping heals into them and well they would there would be a bad boss overlap and then they would die and i would get flamed this is the tragedy of the new affixes unfortunately i feel like a lot of this is placed onto the healer even though classes can do it as you get into higher keys it's not as bad i've noticed that like the 10s and 11s i'm doing people actually understand what they need to do but in lower keys it makes me really dread having to gear my restoration shame but i'd like to have a healer available because a lot of the keys that the guild runs usually need a healer and i'd like to like try that out and i can help right because we have three tanks now why not have a healer available so i could jump in and help but i'd like to do the resto shammy but gearing the resto shammy getting through those twos and threes up to eights and nines i just i'm dreading every second of it so i've been staying just doing twos on him he will have his delves because i did the four delves for the sixth for the hero track gear and i did also do some mythic dungeons the restoration shammy will have a vault and that's exactly what we're going to jump into right now like i said he's only 590 he's got a whole slew of random gear so let's take a look at what he gets i'm going to open it in restoration spec maybe we'll get lucky maybe we won't let's see what we're looking at here uh we've got a hero track crit haste ring definitely a big upgrade over what i have and then we also have a fungal friend flute another big upgrade over what i have out of our mythic dungeon slot we have the crit haste waste which is a very big upgrade and then we also have the hero track shield now we already have a hero track shield with our best stat so i probably won't take that and then just out of lfr we have our haste mastery neck piece another big upgrade but i want to take that i want to focus on getting some hero track gear 616s i'm thinking this ring is the way to go or we can replace our belt which may be crafted but so unfortunate all of this gear has haste on it because all of it is kind of useless to us uh, haste is not one of our better stats crit verse and mastery is what we're looking after i think out of all of it this would be the most significant upgrade for now getting out of veteran yes i know there's a 577 belt but hey we can replace that sooner or later let's take this as the highest eye level upgrade and that brings us up to 592.31 and with this week being the add apex i may play the shammy a little more just to get him a couple more eye levels see how he feels maybe i'll get him some guild runs do some higher keys we'll see but that's where the shammy's at right now And just quickly, we're going to talk about the one and only mount we got this week. This is from Awakened the Machine, the weekly quest you can do in Ringing of the Deeps. I actually got this at some point last week in my mail. So when I opened the chest, I didn't see the mount actually appear. So I was out doing stuff on the monk and then I went, oh, hey, I got some mail. Let's go look at it. And this is a few days later. I opened my mail. Bang! There's the mecha suit. So it's the machine defense unit 1-11. I still haven't used it, so let's open it up right now. There it is. We've got the new defense machine, and it is definitely a Dornigal style mount. I, I like it. It's basically a reskin of the mecha suit you get for getting your 2k IO. This one, I prefer this one, I think, just from the colors and the flames coming out of it. Uh, definitely something I will favorite and use as we carry on. And like I mentioned at the start of the video, it is farming season. What does that actually mean? So something that I don't usually do is go out and farm gold. But I was interested this time around to say, hey, instead of just farming mounts and kind of doing stuff that isn't really getting me money, I've noticed how expensive crafting is this expansion that I'm running out of funds very quickly. Now, on top of that, I'm still using rank two potions and files for raid. And we're getting near those later bosses in Mythic where it's time to start buying rank threes for my enchants, my potions, my 
files and that is the very expensive endeavor so what i decided to do is like most of us we go online we see some guy who posts make 10 million gold an hour oh my god 24 hour we're within gold farm so yeah i started poking through some of those videos just random ones i started seeing what makes sense what doesn't and i found a couple of things that i was like hey you know what let's try this let's see if it actually works so i started doing some farms in certain areas three of the farms i do are for mats right now and the one of them is like a transmog one and it's funny enough that in four days of doing this when i started on on the weekend i am now up to 150k gold i made a separate bank tune where i either put stuff in my war bank he picks it up and that tune only sells it that tune had 2k on them when i started i am now at 150k within four days and that's extremely exciting i've never done that i'm gonna keep picking away at some of these gold farms and seeing how lucrative they are because uh, it's very interesting i've never done something like this usually like you know you try to find current mar mats or i'll go buy a wow token or usually what i do is i boost i've now found a new farm we're only starting week eight and currently i'm already into that mindset of hey let's start farming and doing other things I, because like i mentioned with the struggles with my chamois i don't really have that desire to work on alts right now because it is very challenging to go through those low keys and get gear i could get into a raid i actually haven't tried any alt raids so maybe that's something i can do and see what that feels like but for right now i'm going to continue doing these gold farms and i may do some updates uh, next week to see what that looks like after a full seven days of farming could i double triple my income when it comes to gold making i have no idea but i do want to try it it has been very interesting something i've never done before so this is definitely a new endeavor for me usually i'll transmog farm for myself or i'll mount farm for myself but this is something different so that is the farming season that i started and now let's t jump in and talk about what week eight is going to look like what i want to do on the dk is get at least my four mythic keys done for the week that are required for aid and then i want to start doing 12s and start getting into 12s and seeing how far i get can i time on can we complete more of them that is the goal for the death line in week eight i do want to work on the warrior a little more because he does feel good in those higher keys so i want to see if i can get the warrior up another at least 10 item levels to around 625 and see how he starts feeling in tens and higher maybe even he could try a 12 i may work on my resto shammy again and like i mentioned before we will continue our new gold farm adventure something we haven't done before so hit me up in, in the comments below let me know how your week is going what was your vault like what are you doing to make gold these days are you still enjoying what the war within are you still running keys let me know what you guys are up to down below. I'm looking forward to the week. I will be streaming Tuesday and Thursday. I may skip Sunday because the MDI is on. So just be aware of that. If I do, I'll try to stream either Saturday or Monday. I'll try to get an extra day in for you guys. Until next time, though, I'll see you guys in Kazalgar, the Mythic Plus Arena. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out, everybody.